a yam like this will be very good to grow. It will come up with a lot of vines and leaves. It has broken dormancy and it's a very healthy looking yam, very firm body. You can see the lines going down. Those are the points of growth. But we already have about four points on the head. And this is good for the yam that we want to grow today. Welcome to my channel. If you see me for the first time, I'm Lillian and my channel name is Princess Lillian's Garden. Come along if you want to learn how to grow yam at home or for sale. Let me tell you once again that the yam prefers tropical weather where the temperature remains warm even at night. This is just the size I need and I'll leave the rest for cooking. These four green parts probably going to develop into shoots forming vines. But you can see this brown peats, those are going to develop into roots. So I will place it with a cut part upwards and just wait for the roots to develop and then the shoots also will be developing and then the shoot will come out. The yam is growing. That's the vine. The leaves oh, is full of growth hormones, auxins. The leaves are opposite and it goes up and up. Allowing the yam to grow at this angle will encourage more side shoots. It has to be at an angle about 45 degrees. That is close to being flat. And you can see at almost every leaf node, we're getting side shoots coming out. This way, we would have a lot of vines that I can take off and grow. The reason why we need a lot of these vines is because we need the Codex. The codex is a swelling at the base. You see? It's, that is the codex that I'm touching. This is the new side shoot that is growing out. This is the leaf. I was there before that's the leaf at that node so when it starts to grow the codex it becomes more robust and the codex has a nature that it can develop roots this is what we need to start new plants we need to do this while the side vine is still young maybe between four and six leaves you can try longer but it's just better at about this
but you must have one leaf to come along with it the leaf is looking old but it's still better to have a leaf along with the vine that we're going to try to grow let me show you one that is actually ready you see this is a perfect side vine to propagate and it's publish yes. it's got a lot of um, growth hormones in it the side vine and that's the leaf so I'm going to cut through and remove the side vine this side vine already has a codex and I'll show it to you I use the razor to mark the portion just around there you can see the swollen base of the leaf and that's where we have the codex so i moved the razor through and cut the leaf off so i have a leaf It has taken off the main stem and this the side vine which I'm going to now plant this is the codex it's a swollen portion move it away yeah. it makes it clearer you can see it's a swollen portion at the base of the leaf and at the base of the side vine and that's the joint to the main stem take a look at it and you will see it on your plants as soon as it's got five six even if it's up to a foot long just it's ready and you can grow it on you get a new yam plant that's the side vine you can see the swelling so I'm going to cut it at this point with the razor blade which I've already with the razor blade that's it's already been disinfected that's it this side vine Got um, about four or five leaves. We have more, but four to six is the best. And one of the leaves should be looking mature.
put these two in water. I will use aspirin, disposable aspirin. We have already broken it up. I just take a small amount. And then I place it in a covered place. Put it in this container and um, cover it. It's already on this side. Yeah, I check it every day. I change the water once a week. And see how the roots come along. Yeah, you can see a root going out of the codex at this point, and you can see the tiny white piece that's the root coming out of the codex. And when I turn it around, you can see more roots on the other side. That's from the leaf I planted about three weeks ago. So it started to grow leaves. And I've had this brain wave instead of just one single leaf this is one reason to use a side shoot that's got just about three four or five leaves i think it will go faster from that point so we'll cut it and that is what i've done in this video because this result has shown the roots but it's going to take a longer time so to speed it up, that's why I'm using the entire vine. So this is it with the leaves and then I'm showing it with the vines. When that develops, I'll do an update so that we can see again the roots growing on the codex. The codex is a fattened portion at the base of the vine and also at the base of the leaves where the leaves join the stem that's what we call the nodes in the case of the yam we would have a swelling and it will be able to grow into roots and shoot this is a beautiful characteristic of the yam plant and other vining plants as well. And then this is what the roots look like. Five days later, I'm going to plant it in the soil because the stem everything is already properly healed we have about four five roots here now that's the stage at which I'll put this leaf into the soil
calm it down and water it thoroughly. I have to make sure it is properly watered because it's just coming out of water. So we have to keep it properly watered more than usual so it doesn't get a shock and it doesn't receive so much water again. And I'll let you see what goes on in another two weeks. You would not have any worry. You will have a lot of leaves when you're growing your yam outside. See? There's a lot of leaves. So, so this is how you grow your yam. From leaves when you want to produce a very large number of um, seedlings if you want to produce just about 20 30 seedlings you can do it with the mini set method in this video in the corner thank you for watching my channel please subscribe if you haven't like and leave your questions and I'll see you again in my next video.